Crimea civilians sound alarm after Ukrainian drone hits Russian fleets. A Ukrainian drone hit the headquarter of Russian Black Sea Fleet in Crimea this weekend. The latest assault on the region Moscow once considered an impregnable fortress. Plum of smoke were rising from the Sevapol's military base on Saturday morning, and the city residents were urged to stay home immediately after the strike. The latest in a string of high profile attack on sensitive targets there and inside Russia. The governor of Sevastopol, Mikhail Razohev, said. There were no casualties, and initial claims the drone flew into the airbase roof after troops stationed there were not able to shoot it down. He later said Shoulder had been able to target the drone, and that it had fallen onto the airbase roof after being hit. Clarification: the drone was hit right above the fleet quarter. It fell on the roof and caught fire. The attack failed. Well done, boys. He wrote. Previous attack in Crimea, including one earlier this month on the Saki Air Base, that sent fireball into the sky and destroyed nine or more warplanes, prompted many residents to flee the peninsula. Worried locals respond to Razovhev by asking how a drone had slipped through air defense that, at the start of the war, were considered among the most sophisticated in the world. Was our air defense system on a lunch break? Asked one. When will you finally close the city? Asked another. Suggesting the attack were the work of pro-Ukrainian partisans in the peninsula. We fought harder against coronavirus. There were checkpoints everywhere then. Now anyone and everyone enters. Another wonder if more attacks are coming. Wednesday, twenty-fourth August is Ukraine's Independence Day. And will also mark six months since Russia's invasion. Many in the countries are worried that Moscow may be preparing for some kind of major attack that day, but residents in Crimea are also apparently concerned that Ukraine's want to mark its successful residents. They have Independence Day on the twenty fourth. Maybe they are preparing something, and the drone is just to divert attention from the main thing. The attack came a day after the U.S. announced a seven hundred and seventy-five million dollar armed package for Ukraine, including drones, armor, vehicles, and artilleries. Government officials have repeatedly said that while Western weapons allow the country to save Kiev and hold off Russia in other areas, they are still woefully short of the arm needed to decisively defeat Russia. Promised supplies are also arriving slowly. Last week, a senior source estimated only ten percent of armed promises by the West had reached Ukraine. And on Saturday, presidential adviser Mikhail Poloyak warned Moscow was trying to create a reputation crisis for Ukraine that would slow the flow of Western arms. Ukrainian troops are being pounded by weapons in the south and in the east. Where Russian forces are still slowly advancing through a wasteland of cities shelled into ruins before their capture, on Saturday they stepped up fighting to seize Bakhmut, one of the last major towns in Donetsk region still held by Ukrainian force, and which would clear the way for Russia to move on to other strategic targets, Slovanix and Kramarstok. There is a growing global concerns about Russia's occupation of the nearby Zakopizia plants, the largest in Europe, and suspicion that Russian authorities could try to disconnect it from Ukrainian's grid, which would raise the risk of a nuclear accident. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.